we are here. The time finally came for one of the biggest fights of the year, one of the most significant fights of the year, and arguably the deepest card of the year. David Benavidez versus Andre, the boogeyman at 168 versus the boogeyman at 160. It don't get better than this, especially when you factor in the whole undercard is full of great 50-50 fights. We have Floyd Mayo, the prodigy, Kamel Moulton. He's going to be fighting after Benavidez versus Andre. However, on the undercard, we have Rivera, the Muhammad Ali lookalike. We also have Hector Garcia and Matias. He's in a real 50-50 fight. An action-packed fight that might steal the show. I can't wait for that fight. And we also have Jamal Charlo making his return after two years and a half layoff to fight an easy touch, a tuna fight you could say, against Jose Benavidez Jr. Now I have all of the respect in the world for Jose Benavidez Jr. He's a real fighter. However, he's biting more than he could chew. Moving up all the way to what? 163 catch weight to fight a man that didn't even make the catch weight. Jamal Charlo came in at 166 something pounds, right? So Essentially, this is a fight between a middleweight and a welterweight. There is no way Benavidez is going to last 12 rounds in there against Charlo. In our reality, this fight shouldn't even be competitive. This should be an early KO for Charlo. If it's not, then I'm telling you guys, Jamal Charlo is completely washed up. However, you can't take the credit away from Jose Benavidez Jr., if he's able to pull off this win, this is going to be massive for his career. This is going to be the biggest upset on the entire card because Jose Benavidez has the toughest matchup at the moment in time on this entire card. And perhaps all year. I don't care what kind of version of Jamal Charlo we're going to see. I still think he should win by KO easy. Remember, Jose Benavidez is not a middleweight. This is why I'm saying this. Jose Benavidez is really a welterweight with a heavyweight heart. That's why he took this fight. And obviously, the main event. This is going to be a good one. This is going to be a great fight. I can't wait to see it. I know both Benavidez and Andre, so I don't want to see either one of them lose. I wish they could both win, perhaps in a draw fashion. However, if I have to put my feelings aside and think about this fight logically, the winner of this fight is going to be the fighter who fights his fight. That's what's going to determine the winner. If Andre goes in there moving excessively without getting his respect and respecting Benavidez too much, kind of like Kayla Plant did, then obviously Benavidez is going to stop him in the later rounds because Andre is going to burn his engine. However, if Andre stands his ground, kind of like Anthony Durrell did in the early rounds, then I could see Demetrius Andre outboxing David Benavidez to a unanimous decision. I wouldn't even be surprised if we see Benavidez hurt. It's all going to depend on how Andre takes Benavidez jab away and the combinations where he don't stand at punching range where Benavidez could let his combos go. While at the same time, Andre not moving excessively. Because if he do, he's going to give Benavidez the confidence to chase him down and break him down. We all know Benavidez has a great engine where he could throw 100 punches around if he has to. So Andre doesn't have the luxury to afford burning energy by moving excessively for no reason. All because the Mexican monster is hunting him down. No, if Andre want to win, he's going to have to stand his ground and get David Benavidez respect by actually countering him and showing a different class when it comes to the skill level. That's the way to do it for Andre. On the other hand, I can see Benavidez walking Andre down in the early rounds and then in the later rounds, possibly taking him out by catching him with a straight right hand uppercut or a left hook. That's very possible. After all, this is a 50-50 fight. However, if I have to pick somebody, my prediction is Andre by unanimous decision. 
nine times out of 10 in the sport of boxing when the matador fights the bull. The matador comes out on top. Even though in this fight, Benavidez is the bigger and stronger guy. On top of that, Benavidez has more speed and power than Demetrius Andre. So if there's any time the bull is going to be the matador, it's this one. However, Andrade still has the skill department on lock. I can see Andrade using Benavidez's aggression against him. If not, he's in trouble. Like I said before, I wouldn't be surprised if this fight goes either way. And I also wouldn't be surprised if Andrade shows something special tonight. Kind of like Crawford did against Errol Spence. We're going to find out how special Andrade is. If he is or if he's not. We also gonna find out the same thing about David Benavidez. Therefore, my prediction is Demetrius Andrade is gonna win by all means necessary. So go ahead and drop your prediction in the comment section below and why. Subscribe below and to be continue on the next episode of Akhi TV. Peace out. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.